welcome to Stuff Lab. I'm Gwen. Today we're outside filming, so we're gonna have bad lighting and bad sound, so good deal. So today we're going to be product reviewing the Sand Cloud Towel. I ordered one, finally came in. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. nope. Scissors it is. So we have the Santa Claus towel. We got the Whale Shark Extra Large Towel. So I'm not gonna unfold the whole thing. But, uh, it's a large beach towel. I got the beach one because it's summertime and why not? And here I have one of just my regular bath towels from inside. So I got a cup of sand from just a sand pile in my yard. So we're gonna see how it does with shaking sand out. And then I have some water down here for doing the water test, but we're gonna start with the sand first. Okay. So, nice pile of sand on each. Rubber in. Oh, I can already tell. Oh man, okay. <laughs> let's uh, start with the beach towel, I guess. Or, I'm sorry, let's start with the bath towel. So, a fair bit of it came off. Do some shakies. I'd say a lot can't, like most of it came off, but I can still see it inside there. So with no shakies, still had a lot. Let's see how this does with no shakies. Mm, there's still quite a bit on there like the other one. Some shakies. Uh, yeah, it's all just surface sand. There is nothing left on here. So it. It does what it says with the sand. It just completely negates it. Now I've made a mess. Okay, now we're gonna do surface water. We're gonna get the rest of the sand out of this, hold on. So what I have here is my gardening jug that pours really badly, so. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, all right. I did exactly what I thought it was going to do. So it says that it's friction based, like this is definitely wet, but it's only one layer wet. So that's not too bad. That's also a very heavy amount of water to be coming down at once, but that did really well. Um, this one, oh, oh, all but the last two layers of the fold are uh are wet quite quite soggy quite soggy so i guess let's see what it takes to get this one sogged all the way through again it's friction based so let's uh let's just do
So I'm looking at the little pond here that's uh, on there, and it's just vamoosing off of it. It's not soaking. So get the extra off of there. Okay. So top layer, sog. Second layer, sog. No way. The third layer has a few little wet spots. Other than that, completely dry. That's crazy. So layer one, layer two, third layer, spots of sog and that's it. And I just got my phone all wet. That's crazy. Um, dry that off. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Friction works. Okay, so we're going to unfold this a bit. So dry section is now on the outside. This is an absolute soaked towel. Just, just a disaster. Okay. So we're gonna try the friction now. We've run out of water in our can, but we got some heat. So pour it on, beads off. Oh, wild. So it still, like, stays surface level unless you really push into it, and then it sucks it up. That's crazy. All that extra is still just beating off. That's wild. Yeah, this is... This would be an awesome beach towel. Awesome house towel, too. Uh, so it does exactly what it says it's going to do. It doesn't hold sand. It beads water off of it. And it only absorbs when there's friction applied. So like a heavy downpour of water or like the friction of scrubbing it against your body. That's dope. Uh, yeah, I highly suggest this. They're kind of pricey, but I mean, if you don't want sand everywhere, totally worth it. Awesome. Um, let's uh, clean up a little bit of our mess here. For the beach, for home, sand cloud towel, amazing. For home, and you want to just dry off. Amazing. There's nothing wrong with a regular house towel. Like, we've been dealing with it for years, getting sand everywhere if we take it to the beach. It's fine. A superior experience. Sand cloud towel. Worth every penny. Thanks for joining me on Stuff Lab, and I'll see you next time. Bye!